Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I first want to commend you, Chairman Smith, on your tireless efforts in working across the aisle to get this package where it is today. Uh, the bill in front of us has many wins uh, for working families and small businesses and is in direct response to many of the concerns that I hear from my constituents back in Illinois. I want to particularly highlight the inclusion of the affordable housing provisions in the package. Provisions that stem from my bill, which is the Affordable Housing Credit Improvement Act, which I've been proud to lead alongside my colleague, Representative Del Benny, in addition to Representatives Winstrup, Beyer, Tenney, and Panetta, and other co-leads. This bill has 212 co-sponsors in the House, 106 Democrats, 106 Republicans. 80% of the Ways and Means members are a part of this bill. If you think about the low-income housing tax credit, it was established 40 years ago under Ronald Reagan and has served as one of the nation's most successful models for affordable housing production and the need to strengthen the credit is necessary now more than ever. Talk to any of your city mayors or municipalities or housing boards. The, the, uh, the need for affordable housing is stronger than ever in our country. Between the pandemic, high interest rates, supply chain disruptions, inflation, and other economic factors, we are facing a severe shortage of affordable housing supply for low-income Americans. That is in rural areas, suburban areas, and urban areas. However, the inclusion of the two LIHTC provisions in the package being considered today, restoring the 12.5 percent allocation increase for 2023 through 2025 and lowering the bond financing threshold to 30 percent through 2025, with this we can make the progress in addressing the crisis head on. And Mr. Chairman, um, I, I would like to submit for the record um, a letter signed by 88 of the leading national and statewide affordable housing and community development organizations expressing their strong support for the inclusion of these LIHTC provisions in the package before us. Without objection. Thank you. Estimates show that these provisions will result in the production of over 200,000 additional rental units for low-income households across the country. More, moreover, this increase in production is projected to generate over $34 billion in wages and business income, significant economic gains that will provide a much needed boost to, the, to your surrounding communities, essentially tripling the amount of the investment through the LIHTC tax credit. This is a giant stepping stone in tackling the affordable housing challenges that we all see and that are being felt at virtually um, every corner of this country and in all of our districts. I look forward to continuing our discussions to strengthen the housing credit as we move forward in the legislative process through the rest of the House and in the Senate. And again, I commend the great work that went into this package. I look forward to supporting the bill here in the committee later today and on the floor in the near future. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank you for your great work on